Hey everyone, um, I wanted to make this video because I figured out a really fantastic way if you want to make a PDF um, typable. Um, I don't know if that's the way you say it, but um, so I found this website, PDF Escape. Um, it's free to use. So um, I use the free online portion. Um, and what I, I did is I downloaded a PDF from um, my Google Drive onto the desktop. So I'm going to open it up for you and just show you what you can do here. And I want this one. Okay, there's a few options. You can add form boxes and you can delete pages. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take out pages that I don't need. So you go to this page button. And so I obviously don't want the kids to see that. So I'm going to take that out. Um, this is the one I want. I don't need this one because this is um, part of a project. Uh, unfortunately, you can't delete more than one at a time. Okay. So if there's multiple pages like this one that has examples, um, so what you want to do is you just want the pages that just you want the kids to see. Okay. All right. Um, here is where you're going to work mostly insert. So you can insert a text anywhere. So if you want to put, um, Hey, this is Dubai. So and so, <laughs> um, you can change the size of it. You can change the font, which there's not that many. So you can also change the color. So it's visible underline it, bold, italicize. Um, if you decide that you don't want this, you can hit this little trash uh, button. Um, anywhere you type now, since you see this click and drag on page to insert new object, you are still on the text button. Okay. So if you want to get out of it, you click on this bar here and you no longer are in that text portion. If you want to delete something, click on it and delete. So the first thing that I want to do is, uh, well, I'll just give you your options here. You can insert an image, you can insert a link, which is really handy. If I wanted to put, say, a video about symbiosis, I can insert a link right here. Um, you can white things out. It's gone. And again, I can hit this delete button and it'll go away. Um, I can draw things freehand. Okay. Okay, I'm going to delete those. Um, not sure. Do that. You can put an arrow, circle, rectangle, line, check mark. <clears throat> These check marks are actually kind of cool. If you put a box like this. Um, oh, no, not that one. Sorry. <laughs> I'll show you. So the main one that you're going to be using is this form field. And there are different forms. You can do text, text paragraph, check box, radio, which I'm not sure. Drop down, list box, reset, or submit. Okay. Um, I'm going to do text. And the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and I'm going to do this. And it makes it blue. Um, it also, you can set the size of what you want it and you can test it to look like. I don't know where the underlined one went. It's going. <laughs> Um, I can change the size. I want it a little bit bigger. Okay. All right. Um, so that's the first one. When I click, I'm going to delete that. Delete that. So now I have a form there. So I'm going to keep adding these form fields. Okay. And I'm just going to add one here and you can move them. Okay. You can also right click and duplicate. So you don't have to keep uh, making a whole bunch of them and you can just add them in. Right click, duplicate. Um, yeah, so it's pretty simple. Okay. So for the single lines, that's how that works. Okay. Uh, fill in wherever the kids are filling in. Ta -da. 
Okay, the other thing that you do is for, say for example, this one, okay, you can do one line, but I go back one field. You can do one line at a time and make separate ones. Or if I delete this object, if I do this, I can object properties and make it multi-line so they can write in multiple um, lines, okay? So for example, um, they can do this, okay? I don't know why it's popped to the side there for some reason, okay? Um, delete, and I'm gonna click here because I don't wanna do that anymore. Once I'm done filling all of this out, you're going to save and download as PDF, and it will save it here, okay? Once you have that, here's how it works for students. I have already uploaded this as an assignment for my students in Google Classroom, but what they have to do, <clears throat> and I'll show you, is they have to print option, and then they have to, they'll be able to type in it and then they have to save it to their drive. So I'll show you what I mean. Um, I already made one yesterday. So this is what happens when they do the assignment. I didn't assign each one. I didn't make a copy for each one. I just put the PDF on there. So here's the PDF. At this point, it's not editable. Okay, this is just the view only copy. When you assign it, you assign it as view only. They hit this print button and it opens it up into a new tab. This one is now editable. They can put things on them. I forgot to put me in here. Okay. When they're done with that, they download and save it to their Google Drive with their name at the top, finished copy, eco ecology uh, reading. Okay but it, they have to save it. And I'll post the video that I have instructions for them to do that for you guys to use as well. Okay, so again, this is PDF Escape, right? Um, it's fantastic. I'm totally happy that I figured out how to use this. Um, so feel free to use and I haven't explored everything yet, but those the basics of it. Um, I'm not quite sure what this means, but I'm sure you guys play with, but the most important is this form field. Okay. All right, guys. Be awesome.